in the land into which I'm taking you. If you will be willing and obedient. Remember the reason why Adam is being cast. Is for the disobedience. You know the truth. You know you have to be in the fellowship. He has told you in Hebrews 10.25 Do not avoid the gathering together of the saints as it is the custom of the people of this world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he has also told you where two or three gather in my name my presence goes with them. And anything they ask of my father my father does for them so that he can get to glory himself in the sun. Now you know the truth but you disobey the fellowship. You don't come to church. You don't attend prayers. You know you have to give your time. And you know very well pastor and God knows that you are earning. You can't give your sacrifice when people are buying a microphone in the church. You don't want to be part of. The question becomes where will God get the confidence to bless you? He has told you, if you are willing and obedient, I will bless the water. I will bless the air you breathe. I was called in Kawangware some time back to pray for a certain mama. She's a very rich woman. She stays in her own compound with her husband. They have two Mercedes Benz and one Harrier. While Priscilla is still struggling with the fire from Udanora to here. Imagine people have hurry as mama and Mercedes Benz. And one of these Mercedes Benz is not working. It has an issue with the computer system. But the, one is, the other one is working together with the Harrier. Then I got into that house. That woman had sent me a message. And she was like, Pastor, I've been prayed for by 15 pastors. My wife told the message. Please come and pray for me. Maybe God is waiting for you to be the one to heal me. And I was like, Excuse me, Kumbe to Nahesabi Wangua. And then I told God, I will not be number 16, I will just be the only pastor. So I sought the face of God before I went. Tell me about these people who come to pray for you. Pastor, they come. They ask for 70,000. 50,000 is for the service. 20,000 is for buying the materials to be used for, for, for praying. The candles, you know, the candles, the katana. How do you call it? Those things we put in there. The, the Catholics keep counting. The Lejomarians, I mean, keep counting. You know those things. You know those things. And I was like, excuse me. So, after having listened to her, I noticed I had been put on trial. You know, after you have been messed up with 99 men, even when God gives you a faithful, a hundred a, 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 a faithful one, you will not, you will take time before you absorb him. Then immediately the husband entered. The husband is a lawyer. And he has issues with the heart and obesity. The doctor told him the only way to heal himself is when he practices. And since he doesn't have time for practice, he has to wake up in the morning in a truck suit, <laughs> push his bag with a laptop on it, keep running from Kawangware to town. survive in a strong tea. 
Jioni kifika tena anabadilisha suti, anavaa track suit tena. Baka kaangwari kupunguza mafuta. Hari haiko hapo. Hari haiko. Wewe, wewe. Wewe, hari haiko hapo. Pasta na kanyaga mugu. Kanisa haina keyboard. My friend utakanyaga mugu. Hari haiko hapo Felix. Hari na Mercedes Benz bili. TV imeshinda value ya plot. Kiti hapo nje unaunganisha za Felix kama 200 chairs. Sasa Mungu amewanyima amani ya kutumia mali zao. Anatoa ushuhuda anasema amenua shamba Bungoma, akajenga nyumba three bedroomed. Watu wengine wakilala ndani there is no problem. Wao wenyewe wakiingia kulala, unasikianga tu pusi imefika. Miau, miau. Eti what is it? Hawana amani. Unasikia mtu amelala hivi anasikia kitu inamwanguka hivi. Akiangalia ni mayai imempasukia. Mahali imetoka hajui. Let me tell you, hizi manyumba mnaona zinameremeta zime zimepakwa marangi hizi. Ukaingia ndani yale machozi yule mtu wanalia. Uta stop kumtamani wakati unakutana gana iko barabara amevaa rinda. Watu wako kwa mambo, kwa hii mambo, kwa hii barabara. Hallelujah. Amen. And it happens ladies and gentlemen. Ikatendeka wapendwa. The husband comes in the house while I'm talking to the woman. When I was introduced to him as the pastor. Number one, I looked too small to him. Because the pastors who come there, they have their stomach on the seventh floor. Number two, because the pastors who have been coming there, they have been messing them up. He refused to trust me. Imagine, we are in the same sitting room, but that man is seated there reading a newspaper. And he tells the wife, I've overspent on you. Why don't you just die? Na nimegaramika kwako sana mbona usife? Sasa utaitisha sadaka. That's why mimi nimeishi kuambia Mungu. Eh? Ndio ukayole uziniingie. Make sure my stomach is satisfied. Make sure my body is covered. Well. Shida mingi ya wachungaji wengi iko wapi? Iko wapi? Sasa mimi nikikwambia ninaonyeshwa amini ninaonyeshwa. Because I have my stomach stable. Unipe, usinipe, tumbo iko sawa? Iko sawa. Ulipe rent uzilipe, imefungwa. Shinda hapo na hiyo pesa yako. Hallelujah. When I noticed I had been belittled for a while. I requested her to serve me with a glass of water. Nikamsi kwamba akanipe maji ya kunywa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Instead it is the man who stood up to go for a glass of water. Ara hiyo ni yule mzee alitoka akaenda kunisaidia maji. I did ask for a glass of water because I was thirsty. Sikutaka maji kwa sababu nilikuwa na kiu. After all there was a lot of stinking smell in the house. Hata hivyo kulikuweko na harufu mbaya kwenye maji. When he brought me the water I refused to drink it. Alipoleta maji nikakataa kuyanywa. I told him nikamwambia it is this woman in need and she is the one to sacrifice for God but she had mucus in the nostrils she had given herself let what come may I am tired now you imagine how you can get to be attracted in the appetite way with the water Unaweza kuvutiwaje na tamaa ya maji katika mazingira kama haya. person who is serving you has mucus running all over. Na yule anayekupatia maji akona makamazi inatiririka. So she stood up a little bit. Asimama tu. I thank God for Mary. 
Namshukuru Mungu. She says to Jesus. Akasema kwa Yesu. I wanted you to come and heal my brother. Nilikuwa nataka ukuje uponye ndugu yangu. Now because I knew you could. Kwa sababu nilijua unaweza. But you never came. You've come when he is dead. Lakini umekuja wakati amekufa. I don't believe you can bring him back to life. Siamini kama unaweza mleta kwa. Because after all he is thinking. Kwa sababu hata sasa anaruka. But one thing I know of you. Lakini jambo moja najua kwako. The only way I have an experience with you. Ila ambayo ninajua kwako. Is that anything you tell your father. Chochote unachoambia baba yako. Your father here. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So she stood up. I didn't want to suffer her. I wanted her to demonstrate faith. So she went to the dispenser. She came with a glass of water. I didn't have the confidence to drink it. Because I looked at the mucus. And the stinking smell in the house. And I was like, excuse me. But I drank a half of that glass. And I prayed and I said, in relation to this scripture that I've read to you, Oh Lord, let it be known today that I've done this in your name and that this woman has drunk from the same cup with an apostle in Jesus name then I gave her the water and asked her to drink but she could not so the husband came you know that kind of the, 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 how do you call it the, the one we used to gargle the medicine in the mouth of the children so he came with that kind of straw so I used to gargle this water and I told him immediately you are through with that glass. Okay, Your wife shall be well. Then I left the house. In fact, I left the house bitterly. But while I was still at the veranda, I heard from my back. Vasta. Vasta. Vasta, please. Then I stood for a while. Then she came holding herself at the walls. And she give, gave me something in her hand. I held it like this till I was in the house only to realize I, was, I had been given 200 shillings. She gave me the offering. She recognized the meaning of the offering. The husband had not given her the 50,000. But God had given her 200. We were called the following morning. The legs are okay. She's eating. She's restored. They just had a problem with coming into fellowship in Kayole. Because of her class, you know. Mm, but one thing I want to tell you. Can something could come out of Nazareth? Now the question the Lord is asking. Can something could come out of Kayole? Here we are. Transforming Grace Ministry. Transforming Grace. Stand up on your feet. Let me finish on this. The last point. Uh, in John chapter 10. Verse 27 and 28. The Bible says. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them. And they follow me. I give them eternal life. And they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hands. Because they have repented. When you repent, you receive life. And I speak again back to you. Exactly as Jesus has spoken to his disciples. That the word that I speak to you. They are spirit and they are life begin to receive life tonight. Receive the healing you need because you have repented. I stand in place as the priest of God to declare in the name of Jesus no more partnership between the patterns of the blood of your forefathers and your real life today in the name of Jesus. I ordain Jesus on this altar in your marriage 
on this altar in your life in the work of your hands as the prince of peace. I bless your air. I bless your water. You are free from contamination. Walk in freedom. Walk in liberty. May your life get to be glorified by God in the name of Jesus. Upon each one of you, I speak higher levels of grace. And right from the onset of this time, may the heavenly God, God of our, our father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom we worship on this in this house, on this altar, begin to order the steps of your feet. Your people failed to succeed. May you prosper right from now because a foundation has been laid in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Take your offering, your tithe, and your sacrifice. Have time to speak on it. Speak on it. We always teach this church. You don't just take your money to the altar. Always take time. Speak to your sacrifices. Tell it what you want. Even if it is ten bob. Speak to it. Do not hold on it because it is small. That is what you have. Speak to it. Tell it. In the name of Jesus, I agree with the man of God concerning the word of God on repentance. Now, right now, I give my offering. I give my sacrifice. I give my tithe. I choose to worship God with my giving. I declare in the name of Jesus the pattern of evil, the consequences of broken covenant. Shall not, my children shall not be part of it. I shall not be part of it. My marriage shall not be part of it. The work of my heart shall not be part of it. I wish I had a serious person in this house. You will gather the confidence to speak to your offering. In the name of Jesus, speak to it. You can mention your children. You can mention your husband. You can mention your wife on it. You can mention what you are trusting God for. You can mention the name of that fiancé. That need of a shamba. That need of a house. That need of this and that. Trust God together with me. Lay a foundation for yourself. Service your altar with your sacrifices. And it shall surely be well. For you have repented. May the Lord heal you. In Jesus. Jesus' name. Can I pray?